Hi there. So I've got myself a cup of tea and I'm going to do a journal flip because I have finished this journal that I started in 2015. So it's very nice to feel that I finished it at last. Um, but what you'll see as we go through is that it's not done in order. So I don't know why, but I just I start a page and then a few pages down the line I do another page and then I come back and then I go forward and I don't really know why I do that but I've always done it and so it is what it is but it does mean that they're not in order but anyway so <clears throat> this I've covered it in material this is actually material I'm a bit cross about this fold here but I don't really know what I can do about that um, I use glue to stick it down and then I went over and this is wallpaper which is gorgeous red and gold wallpaper so work by B Sky which is me you all know who I am really but that's my artistic name thank you very much so there we go so I only finished it very recently so yes so the book was originally called Dream Time, and my friend Peggy gave this book to me. Um, it had lots of interesting pictures with um, Aboriginal um, traditional stories and interesting illustrations. I don't know if Peggy was quite expecting me to do this to the book, but she's lovely and she's forgiven me, and um, she's glad that it's getting another use, I think. so. Yeah, I certainly found it very inspiring, some of the images. So you'll see some of the images will come through and some not. I mean, you know, you know what it is. We take what we want, don't we? So this is just a pattern. This was the very last drawing that I did. Galadriel. Whoops. There. I, I used reference of um, Cape Blanchett to do that. And so I began this in... 2015 thinking it would be a journal for that year but it didn't quite work out that way and that's the other annoying thing is that I will start a journal and then go and work in another journal I bet you do that as well I'm sure I'm not the only one that does that so it means it takes ages to fill up a journal and it doesn't mean that I wasn't doing art I was just doing it somewhere else which is funny, isn't it? Anyway, so I doctored the title and it now says Dream Her, original paintings and text by me. And it's got a roomy quote there, open your hands if you want to be held. So I actually um, traced those hands. I didn't draw them myself. Anyway, here's another recent, quite a recent picture when I am among the trees, <coughs> excuse me, um, when I am among the trees, and that's a lovely poem by Mary Oliver, and I love trees, and so I started off drawing these trees, which I copied from Tolkien, Tolkien, um, the guy that wrote um, Lord of the Rings, he was uh, an artist as well, he used to do, make drawings, uh, watercolour drawings, and I tell you what, hold on a moment. I'll be right back. Hang on. So Tolkien drew this. Um, him, you know, painted this himself. It's beautiful, isn't it? A landscape. And I was really inspired by this to have a go. And I copied it and this is what I came up with. What I couldn't replicate was the lovely colours. I'm not very good at matching colours, that's a real difficulty for me. Um, these are sort of teal almost, aren't they, and a bit of green. I don't know if it's showing up very well in this video, but anyway, I had a go and I enjoyed drawing them and then I drew a face, of course, because I'm always drawing faces, and then I thought, oh yeah, she's turning into a tree. <laughs> so that's what that's about. 
Now, whoops, I will say that, look, I've even got a tree here. My niece gave me this and I'm gonna wear it until it drops off because I love it. Anyway, you may find this boring because I'm chatting on. I'll try not to make it boring, but of course you can always skip through. So that's what I do. <laughs> When I've got a video, watching a video, I'm sure everyone does it. You just, okay. Anyway, so this is the contents page because I always leave the contents page in so that I can then add my own. And it makes me have to go through and make up titles for all of my pieces. So, and I think what I probably will do, this is so recently finished that I haven't even gone through. So what I'll do is I'll go through and I'll rub out all the pencil marks. So here's the spread um, and it's the glory of the ride really. It's that poem, I can't remember the whole poem but it ends up with it's not the destination, it's the glory of the ride. That's what life is isn't it, it's a journey. And of course that's Metatron's cube and that comes up time and time again in my art because I am fascinated by it and drawn to it and just like drawing it and I can't explain it um, and that's the famous pointing hand from is it Michelangelo's painting anyway my art history is not great <laughs> but anyway, so here is um, another picture this one's a, just a girl Shelley and that's because at the time, gosh, look at it, 2015, it hasn't got a proper date on it, annoyingly. Um, I was writing a story, a short story. It had a character called Shelley, and I had a really vivid image of her in my mind. So I did a quick sketch. This one is Root Story. Um, I think I saw, I saw a video, I think. Gosh, it's just going back as well. Um, about talking about, oh look, that's April 2015. Um, talking about your roots or where you came from. So I wrote it once and then I just said it out. <laughs> and then I wrote it again and just said it out. This is about the third time I've written it. And it's interesting because I think as you grow and as you change and as you start to reflect on things, the stories that you tell yourself change which is a wonderful thing um, because it lets you heal. So I think it's quite funny, but um, yeah, it's got a dryad is born of a tree. Again, tree theme. And this was in the original and I just extended it. And here is a girl with glasses and all probability inspired by Gulf Sprite. Um, but these glasses are not stencils, They've, I've cut them out from a magazine and put them on her. This is just a, you know, doodle, basically. I can't really say what that is. Here I'm playing with different textures and paint. Um, yeah, paint. But mainly textures of paper. 2015. This one, I spent quite a bit of time on. And I know what I did with this. This was a face that I cut out from a magazine. Then I put clear gesso on it. And then I tried to shade it. And looking at it now, my shading wasn't so good. I think I must have improved on my shading since then. Um, but yeah, that was March 2016. And it was all about dolphins because I found some dolphin paper. And I made this little card and I used this was from Dolphin Adventure up in Kaikoura. You can go and swim with dolphins and you can go and watch orcas. Uh, so I stole that pocket and used it for this little thing. And it's like, oh, smiling dolphin, remind me to be playful, remind me to be free, living in the moment, finding happiness all around me. May I make friends with forgiveness, learn how to ask for it and how to give it easily because this is the way to freedom and at the same time it's the way to connection. I deserve to be forgiven, I deserve to be happy 
I deserve to be free now it's interesting because it looks to me like I wanted to be forgiven for something but do you know what I've forgotten what it is so that's a good thing isn't it <laughs> but um yeah we all deserve to be forgiven and likewise we have to learn to forgive because they're equal sides of a of a balance aren't they so that's what that spread was about oh look Oops. perseverance this one no date on it um i will not give up keep riding the waves so that's what that one's about and it looks to me like I've had a bit of trouble with the mouth. I might come back in there and touch that up. Um, this one started off, I started using a book. I found a another book. Oh gosh, it's going out of focus again. Hold on a second, I'll just do some technical upkeep. So here's the spread which started off as another book and um, the paper was just really difficult to work on. Um, it just didn't take the paint up and it was sliding all over and so I thought well I'm just going to take out the pictures that I like and put it into this book which is a cheaty way. <laughs> So I didn't have to finish that journal, I just put it into this one. So this is a book of dreams and wishes. And it started off as a picture with a ladybird. It was a, um, the book, I think, was about insects. So um, I basically just said everything out apart from the ladybird and then built a picture around it. This is neurographics, I'm sure you'll you'll know what that is and I left that in because that was the original book that I altered I love altered books and so this was from 1972 so yeah I like keeping things in like that here's another picture here I had a lot of trouble with paint sliding around and this is about the cosmic egg about the birth of the universe or the Tao or whatever you like to think it goes a bit esoteric on that one and that was done in 2020 done in September 2020 so these are a bit more recent some of these here is a self-portrait haha -ha. I took a photograph of myself <laughs> and so that I could get the hand you know hand reference What's the hand doing, you know? Um, I think I'm quite pleased with that hand, actually. It's not too bad. That doesn't really look like me, <laughs> but it looks like a person, I suppose. Um, and this is all about receiving abundance. So this is meant to be like the streams of abundance coming to me and flowers and abundance and all this full of love tuning into the vibrations of abundance so that's that one that was done in December 20 so yeah and it's just basically mixed media here's one that was done along to um, golf sprite video um, collage I love the way that golf sprite teaches collage she does it in a sort of intuitive way and a sort of I mean I just like the way she does it so go and check out Girl Sprite for her collage amazing she comes up with some amazing pictures and I quite like doing it I, I suppose I like the process more than anything and the way things change as you go through and the way also it tells you something that's on your mind which you might not have thought was on your mind by the end of doing the the painting you sort of go oh yeah I get it anyway this was all about dreaming of freedom and be here now this is just I used pencil 
in a sort of a thick pencil. I forget the name of the brand, but it was like a really um, soft and smudgy pencil so that I could draw her outlines and then I could use a paper stump. And I also used pink gesso that I quite often use, which gave a nice skin tone. And the combination between them gave quite good flesh shadows and tones. And then I painted this. And this is quite funny because this is somebody um, I'm talking about. I tore the pages from my journal and he was gone. A bit like a bad dream that dissipates and fully waking up. Yep. Happens, doesn't it? People can not be what you thought they were. But um, life goes on and it's all learning. So I called this spread Waking Up. This is a really old one. And I think I did this as well with, no I didn't. I did this one on my own, but I was definitely watching lots of golf sprite classes because she was teaching us about how you can take something from an image and then work it out. So for instance, these molecules and then I drew these extra ones in and then I did this transparency this is a um, sellotape transparency where you put sellotape onto an image and then you wash paper off the back gosh I haven't done it for such a long time I can't really remember how it works but it's quite good fun and it makes quite good um, collage because you get a sort of transparency out of it so that's that one that's someone climbing up a cliff it's all about Gaia the goddess this one's quite recent but very very simple meditator I think this one is me trying to finish up my journal <laughs> so yeah this one it's from one of my poems. Call yourself a billionaire. I own every atom of a sunset and every star in the sky belongs to me. So there. I think I did this one because at the time somebody had been declared a trillionaire or something like that. And I just thought, oh God. The pursuit of money, money, money. And I also had all these papers and I wanted to use them, so that's the spread that came out. This one has got two pages stuck together and a hole cut, and this comes out to reveal. If you can dream it, you can do it. Dreams are messengers from one possible future. Hmm, and that's quite an old one. Look, that's from October 15. And I made this dream catcher. So it says miracles happen every day. And they certainly do. The dream catcher. And I think I'm supposed to write something on there. I haven't got round to it. Will I ever get round to it? I don't know. Maybe I won't. So this is quite a recent one again. Um, now I did this, <laughs> I did it from reference and I'm using reference more and more these days because reference really helps you see where the shadows are. And I remember when I was painting this I felt sort of very timid when I started putting this dark shadow here but it actually is how the face looks, it is the shadow. But um, this was a, a picture of beautiful Regina Spector, but she doesn't look beautiful. I mean, she's I mean, she's got these gappy teeth, which I think are so awesomely pretty. Um, but I've ended up making her look a bit goofy and a bit sort of dopey. But she has these beautiful sort of sad eyes, and actually her eyes are not brown. Her eyes are blue, really lovely blue. So I've gone a bit artistic license with this, but um, I do love Regina Spector or Regina. Spectre um, 
and she writes some amazing songs so that's a lyric from one of her songs this is just a quick sketch with gesso background and watercolour on gesso so it goes I love the way watercolour goes on gesso um, that's that one. Oh, that's from 2019 <coughs> um, this one is Kuan Yin another being that features quite a lot in my life actually and also in my journals Kuan Yin and this is her mantra going around the side she is the goddess of compassion so she's all about kindness and love and compassion and her story is that she so loved the, the earth that instead of she achieved enlightenment but instead of going to nirvana she would she made a promise a body sat for vow that she would listen to the cries of the world and intervene so that's her, her sort of story associated with her she's beautiful um magenta energy and so prayer for kindness that's what this one is so I'm hoping for, so this was done in January, so I'm hoping that 2021 will be a kind year. Um, this one has got this in here because it was very sticky. I used layers and layers and layers of acrylic on this one. Um, this was done with uh, Golf Sprites video, again. Um, a technique whereby you start off with a collage across the whole spread and then you take a mask of some kind of shape and I wanted to have a sitting Buddha but to me it looks a bit like a bell anyway so that's why I put another one of Kuan Yin in the middle so that it you could see what it is meant to be and it's meant to be sort of ra light radiating out from her compassionate heart so in the end I got there and quite liked it but this went through a few stages that I didn't like but it was a very interesting process of covering and uncovering and covering up the bits that you liked you know you have to be sort of go with the process and it all works out in the end so that was good fun um, and here we are we're coming to the last one in the book and this one's called the storyteller and I just had some fun with this it's just um, stencils and collage and I did the drawing and then I found this part which I thought looked like one of those breastplates that the the shaman or the priest wears and it fitted with all the colors because I've been using these um, ta -da, golds and stenciling with them and so um, I felt that the colours worked really well together so I'm really pleased with that I'm quite satisfied it's nice isn't it when you do a drawing and you feel quite satisfied at the end that it has it has it has I don't know it's done what you wanted it to do kind of I mean I didn't know what I was going to do at the beginning but um, by the end I was quite yes that's what I wanted <laughs> even though it's a bit strange with a strange hat and everything but there you go so that's the back and that is my journal complete i think i might get a closure although it's it's not pinging open too much it's not too fat um and so on to the next one i say next one i've got several on the go already but anyway um but what i would like to say is please subscribe to my channel uh, the reason I'm actually asking is that when I get a hundred subscribers I can actually use my own um, name so I want to use beautifully altered on this um, YouTube channel at the moment I have to use a funny old number that YouTube give me but if I can get a hundred subscribers um, yeah it would be wonderful but thanks for coming and watching and um, do share and like the video and come back because I've got more videos planned and you never know I might even finish another journal but that won't be for about going by this rate it'll be for another five or six years 
but anyway um i hope i see you sooner than that and take care and um be safe and well and i'll see you soon <laughs>